Hello again guys, Subsay Wolf here with Fallout 76. You would probably never expect me to actually play this game as a normal video, but apparently here I am doing so. And I am uh, level 150 now on the other character, but we are going <clears> to <throat> completely ignore that character. And we are going to create a whole new game, a whole new life in this entire game. But after I do this, I am going to be switching this to a private server. So it's just going to be me and the game itself and nothing else. And now I just got to hope when I get into character creation that I don't get disconnected from the server a hundred times over. And here we are with Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 76. The game that was atrocious <laughs> on day one. It was a complete failure. Please stand by, as we remember the memories when Fallout 76 first opened their doors. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict is the only way to preserve our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the red menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This Sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped, and the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts, minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. I will pop all of these balloons because it is highly recommended to do so. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, hang on. Let me get out of this attire. Oh, I did use it right away. <laughs> Whoops. Here, let me get out of that. There, I, I look more approachable now, don't I? Hello. You have destroyed the evil of modern culture. It's important to us. We have seen that as a class of people. You don't feel empty? It's probably empty now. I doubt anyone's still in there. Big one, what are you talking about? Oh, the treasure? Why didn't you say so? You're in the right place. Things built to survive a nuclear blast. I don't think you're getting in. Wonderful. I'm Franklin Hicks. 
なくなっちゃったんですよ。完全に一人になってしまって、なんか一万発ぐらいね。You wouldn't have a spare weapon, would you? Thank you for the machete. What else can you tell me about this treasure? What can you tell me about the area? What's the world like out there? Did you see another vault drawler go by? An overseer. I better be going. Watch me, Captain. And you too. Thank you very much. I, I, I wasn't lying to you. I promise. I totally wasn't lying about the treasure being in there. Goodbye. There ain't no way you're getting in there. Life support's turned off, by the way, too. I have fun. Ow, you mother. Fuck you. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And two. Oh, wait, what? Another one? Come on. Come here, you little liberator. Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, so there you are. Ow. Come on. I'm not wearing any clothes. Don't shoot me. That's really rude of you. Thank you. Like, look, I'm naked. How could you shoot a man like this? I. Well, wow, Bethesda. I see what y'all focused on. Okay. No, no, I'm gonna rob you. Give me all your caps. <laughs> can can I please talk to you? Or is it because my gun's out, or are you just naturally glitched out? Okay, it's because my gun was out. What was all that about? He says something about a treasure? We're looking for help dealing with these thugs? I'll 
have to hear this plan first. Little invitations, maybe? That's what my mom did for my birthday parties. Though I guess no one came to those either. A sign? Are you crazy? I don't know how to do that. I did want to ask, you haven't seen the Overseer of Vault 76, have you? Let's do this. I just came from there, ma'am. I, I don't think I need a refresher. Hello, Mark. Can I ask what happened to you? Thank you. 
What's it like being a ghoul? That joke's a good way to get shot, sir. You can teach me about using my camp. You want someone dead? Just give me a name. These are tapes you recorded with the voice you're speaking in right now. Not interested. So what's your job here? Have anything at the moment. Goodbye. Oh, just I hope Mothman doesn't lay eggs in my shack. Hopefully, he does not. We also have corn we can grow. We're gonna come over here, plant whatever corn we can for the time being. Okay, four stalks is good enough then, too many. And we want to be able to cook our food as well. So we'll be on the inside of the place. So we're not savages, we don't cook outside. Got a armor workbench, we can put right here, it can chill out. Hello again. And weapons can be right here. Such a beloved little home. And we've leveled up again. Okay, so... Stairs, stairs, stairs. I really like these stairs. These are always nice stairs. They're amazing. Okay, yeah. This place ain't too bad, especially from the outside. Uh, I could probably deal with moving it back some, too. Hmm. Eh, it's alright. The back can be like the little farming area. Yeah, we'll just have like a little farm go on back here. It's got, I don't gotta be too special. My issue is when I'm playing on my higher leveled character, 
I always go too out and make my houses way, 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 way too big. Way bigger than they really should be. This time I'm going to try my best to keep it compact. Just a small little home for me. And then the outside area can like have farm and everything else so it's more, well, normal. And not just majestic Santa all over the place, which clearly needs to be in here. Because why not? Majestic Santa, yes! And now I'm off cloth. That's something I thought I'd never say in this game. You get cloth, like, almost all the time from everything. It's so hard to run off cloth. It actually feels good to see it empty for a change. Uh, I think it's under the fences. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cause what I'm going to do now is build up the farming area, because we got the wood to do it. Uh, are, you, are you being kidding? Cannot intersect. What is it intersecting with? Oh my god, every time. Every time I go to do something, the game does me like this. Okay, maybe put that first. Let's move this back some. Oh my god. Wait, hang on, hang on. Stop trying to connect. Yeah, I think it was naturally here. And it can connect to that. Okay, it needs to be moved over some more to the right. Oh wait, no, 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 not to the right. It needs to be moved over some to the left. And yeah, that, that looks alright. I think. Uh... And cool, yes, that can actually connect. That's good. I was actually kind of worried if that could. And now we're back to needing support. <sighs> I hate this game and it's building so much. I love building, but this is, this is honestly ridiculous on how often this happens. It needs support. What, what kind of support does it really need? It clearly has it. So now, I need to, oh, it's because the hill's up somewhat, oh my god. So now, we need to come from here, try my best to make this work, and you're also needing support, oh my god, and you constantly want to connect. Let's do it facing this way, boom. And now you're too short. <sighs> okay, yeah. This is going to be driving me nuts. Like always. You always have to... Tr like, if you want it to look a certain way, you literally have to try so damn hard to make it work. And it's such a pain in the arse to get it to work. Like, come on, it would look so damn good if I could just, wait. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, um, huh, if it, if this one wasn't so high up, I'd be happier, but we make do. I just need to corner this off now. I don't want to look in, like, trash, though. No, we're not going to do that. No, um, what can I put here instead? That would look kind of natural. This are fuzzy, of course. This are fuzzy makes it look natural. Yes. No. We're not doing that. Uh, why is this game always gotta be so picky? It's more picky than what even Fallout 4 is when it comes to building. I. I guess I could technically do this, but at the same time, there's still a huge gap. Like, I could do that, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I 
guys are stupid. Okay, well, I'm going to do this because I need a circuit tree for the quest anyways. Hmm. Where to put it? Where to put it? Let's put it like right here. Voila! And now I'm still working on this. There, there's got to be a, something I can do. Gate's always picky. This is picky. Okay, move you out of the way. Where'd the gate go? Let's put the gate here. Move you. Do this like I did earlier. Thank you. And it's not as big as of a of a gap, but maybe I can make this work. And it it it's it's a lot better than it was. It's not what I would want it look like, but it's as good as I'm gonna get it. This is as normal as it's going to even ever look. And that, that just drives me nuts. I wish the game was less picky about your building. Oh well. But this, this is as good as I'm going to get from my little farm. Garden. Whatever you want to call it. I, I'm not s upset about it. But I am disappointed. About how it went down. Okay, back to being able to only build certain things. We want one of these, of course. Because why not? Gotta stay in shape, guys. Gotta keep the muscles up. And at least I'll have robots to always keep me company. So that's a good thing. Right? <laughs> I hope I'm right. This one we'll put right here. Voila! It levitates to put itself up on there. Always good when you have self levitating park benches with their weights. So that way you can never crush yourself by accident. Okay, well, we're gonna close this place up, close my shutters, get all nice and comfy. And let him chop some wood. And I was going to put up some torches, but apparently I needed copper to make the torch. Well, I'm going to put a Nuka Cola lamp right here. And when we get power, it'll be beautiful. It'll be really, really beautiful. And before I forget, I am going to cook up this corn soup I got and ribeye steak before it all goes bad. Aha. Uh -huh. And before I end the video, I'm going to level up for the next few times. I've reached all five. I, none of this matters because I'm going to be playing this character constantly on a private server so we can get the single player experience of the story. And here we got the perk cards. Love's like a bullet. The exit is always the worst. Oh, okay. 
going to go with intelligence, first aid again. So that way our stem packs are always good. The next one is going to be with, what would I want it with? Let's see, agility. What does agility give me? Gain plus 15 damage while sprinting, while resisting. Um, now, I'm not too crazy about all that. Okay, you got Action Boy, which I already have a card of. Your running speed is increased by 10% when you have a pistol equipped. I'm somewhat into that because I do like using pistols, but at the same time, my higher level character has a Crusader pistol, and I don't feel like making another pistol build with this character because it takes you forever to get the Crusader pistol plans. So instead, I'm going to go with a pipe build, I guess. Your pipe weapons break 20% slower and are cheaper to repair. Because I, pipe weapons are pretty nice, but that's why I feel like I'm going to be stuck with using for a while since the way I'm going to be playing this character. So of course, we want to be a licensed plumber. There we go. We got five intelligence. And apparently my first aid ain't equipped. There we go, cool. Let's go ahead and equip all our cards. You take 30% less. Sure, why not? I can't equip that yet, not until level 6. Equip you, and equip you. And I don't think I can build a tinker bench yet, so I cannot craft ammo as of current. But we will be scrapping this stuff. And I can now make a stable lies barrel. And I really wish I had some generators I could build up and have my wood extractor working. Because that would be fantastic. And now we have a short combat rifle. But yeah, I'm Sam Seawolf. This is Fallout 76. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked. I guess I really don't care. Um... Well, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, because I do plan doing a full playthrough of the game's new story that they added to 76 with this character. Either way, I hope you had fun watching the video, even though it wasn't much of anything. Either way, I'll be seeing you guys next time, if I could find my goodbye. Um, this will work as a goodbye. Goodbye, my 76 watchers, if there are any. Goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Robot.